Hey, I believe I mentioned this in a previous video that I've been going back to the 2020 MIT integration beep just because I skipped like 20 problems on there or something. So I thought I'd go back and do some of those. So this is from 2020 problem number five. We have the integral of dx over x squared plus x minus one squared. Okay, it's a little unusual looking the way it's set up here, the way it's like, you know, it's not really a polynomial. I mean, it's a polynomial when we distribute it out, but it's not set up that way. It makes me, it makes you think that you want to do a u substitution as you could do a u substitution for like, let's say x minus one. That simplifies this term, but then this term becomes more complicated. I don't think that really helps us. Let me know if you had some other ideas. What I did was just multiply this out to see what we have. So let's just, so let's just do the straightforward thing and, and multiply this out and see what we get. Let's just do this over here. So we're going to have x squared plus, then we'll just multiply this thing. So we're going to have x squared minus two x plus one. We'll just combine the like terms. We have x squared and x squared. So we'll have two x squared minus two x plus one. Now, instead of using the integral in this form, what I'm gonna do is we'll just take this and plug it in and start over again. Okay, now having rewritten it, I think it's, I think for most of us, it's more comfortable in this form. We're a little more familiar with just having like a polynomial in the denominator. From here, you know, we could try to factor this and do partial fractions. We could do some different things. I like to complete the square. So what I'm gonna do is, but before I do that, I'm, I just wanna multiply it two on this just so that I get a perfect square in the, for the first term. But so I'm not changing it, I'll multiply a two in the numerator as well. And let me just multiply that out. Okay, and from here what we'll do is let's look at this denominator. I want to start with just get the square root of this first term, four x squared, so we're looking at two x. And let's just notice if I look at two x minus one, if I look at two x minus one squared, we get back four x squared minus two x minus two x is minus four x plus one. Well, if we add another one, plus one, plus one, here's our two. So let's just rewrite it this way real quick. So we're gonna have two dx, two x minus one squared plus one. And now I think we're in good shape to do a u substitution. So what I wanna do is, so let's do a u substitution where u equals two x minus one. Just noticing I'm, we're in pretty good shape for the arctan formula, but we just need to do this u substitution. So we'll say u equals two x minus one. We'll take a derivative, d equals two, dx. We don't have a two here, but look, we can just put it back in. So now we have our two. So then if we rewrite this with two dx in the numerator, there's our du. Then here's our u, so we're going to have u squared plus one. And this is actually just a very common integral. This is just going to be arctan. So this will be inverse tangent of u. But let's just back substitute all in step as we have it right here. So our u value is going to be two x minus one plus c. And that's it. We're done. So really pretty straightforward. It was really just getting it out of this form. Once we got into a polynomial, I think we were fine and, and it was an easy problem after that. So stopping it there, thanks, have a great day.